Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. I am currently 30 weeks pregnant and feeling it. I wanted to update you guys from my last vlog where I was like developing really, really itchy skin. That has been resolved, honestly, one day of the Benadryl and the hydrocortisone cream that my doctor told me to do, took care of it and we have been golden today. I've been feeling so much better. Things are like not itchy on me. I'm feeling great. So that's the update there. I am actually dressed in this vlog. I feel like all of my vlogs, I come on in sweatpants or like a knit set loungewear, but I'm actually dressed today because I just got some Everlane stuff in and I'm working with them on some Instagram content, but I wanted to share a few of the pieces from my order with you guys here on YouTube because I think they're really, really good basics. None of these are maternity, but I feel like they all kind of work if you are expecting, but also if you're not, they're just really good pieces to have. So first up, I wanted to show you guys this knit dress. This is probably like my favorite one from this order. So this is a rib knit tank dress. I got it in a size small, but honestly, I could have gotten it in an extra small. There is still quite a bit of room for me, but I think that's gonna be nice because I think this is gonna be really, really great to have February and really March as I approach my due date. If you guys are new here on my channel, I'm due April 4th, so it's coming up. This dress is just like so, so comfy, and it's a really good length. I like it with my cord sneakers that I have on, and then this little button-up, which is also from Everlane, and it is super, super soft, but this is the first dress, and I feel like this is gonna be such a good spring summer dress even post baby i feel like i'll definitely be able to wear this next up is this polo dress and this one is so so comfy again super super stretchy and this one is short sleeve i love the piping down the middle i honestly feel like it kind of accentuates the bump but again not a maternity style dress so i can definitely wear this post-pregnancy as well i think it comes in other colors so i'll have all these pieces linked in the description box for you guys but i really really love this like polo neck line i just think it's so so polished looking and then i also have on a pair of new heels so these are i think the day crossover sandaled heel which i have the flat version of these in a taupe color but i really love this like ivory color as well but we love an all monochrome beige look this is the next piece and again i got this in a size small i really could have gotten this in an extra small i think as well because it's super super stretchy but i love the color of this this beautiful, beautiful brown knit turtleneck dress. So it has like the exaggerated turtleneck, which I did not take the time to fold over <laughs> correctly. And then it's ribbed, shows the bump off. And I feel like this with like a little jacket layered over it would be so cute. I also have on some new boots from Everlane as well. These are a croc leather boot and they're so, so chic. I feel like these would look really good with a pair of straight leg denim, but again, another super comfy, cozy dress. So this is the last dress and I am in love with this one. This one actually might be my favorite. I'm thinking about wearing it tonight. I'm going to an event tonight, my first event of 2024. It's with Magnolia, which if you guys are not familiar with Magnolia, it's Joanna Gaines' home brand. I was invited to a sit down dinner tonight and I'm so excited. I have not done an event in what feels like a really, really long time. So thinking about wearing this and the boots, I just think it's so chic. I love an all black look. The neckline on this is so, Stunning, I also really, really love the sleeves. And the best part is it's so comfy. And that is the most important thing right now as I am 30 weeks. It's all about comfort, but still looking really put together. So this is my number one contender, probably what I'm gonna wear tonight. I think it's just a really, really chic look. I wanted to give you guys an office update. I ordered a ruggable rug for the 
majority of this room. So it's gonna be an eight by 10. It was supposed to come earlier today, but I'm still waiting on that. I ended up getting the exact same pattern as the two ruggable rugs that I have in the house. I just love that pattern so much and I thought it would help with the sound a little bit in here. We are starting on ordering some acoustic panels for in here as well so that it's not as echoey. I know it's been like kind of hard to listen to the audio lately because it is just so like echoey, but we got the quilt hung that was in our dining room up there to kind of help with sound as well. I also got another ring light to just kind of help with lighting since a lot of the filming that I do, I start kind of around 2 p.m. and then at least in the winter right now, the sun goes down at like four, so. I don't have that much daylight, but my built-ins are done. The painter came back, did all the touch-ups. So we're waiting on sound, acoustic panels, and the rug. And then basically I can like start decorating right now. I don't have to wait for that stuff. So I don't know if I'm gonna get to that this weekend because we're having our baby shower, the one that got canceled from the snow we're having on Saturday, which I'm so, so excited about. It turns out like more people can come to it now that it's this weekend versus if it had been last weekend. So very, very grateful for that. I have been thoroughly enjoying my new planner. So I shared about this in my last vlog and I had done like a quick little setup video, but as I've gotten to use it a little bit more, I've just kind of configured it the way that I like it. So I shared this in my last vlog, but this is the cloth and paper personal sized planner. And this is the six ring. So it's this beautiful taupe color and it has a little magnetic snap. You can put your pin here on the side. I ended up putting some gift cards and little freebies here in the credit card slots because I never end up using gift cards because I put them in a drawer and then I never see them. So I thought just having them in the front here to like open up every day as like a reminder of like, hey, you have a gift card, you should use it. I put that there. And then I ended up sticking some little notepad pieces back here in the main slot. And then I got this really pretty film cover that says 2024 on it for the like front page. And I ordered this off of Etsy. So I'll link all this stuff down below. I'm still working on getting you guys a discount code. Cloth and Paper said that they're not adding new people to their affiliate program until February. So I will keep you guys updated on if I get a code or not. But this is a little film layer that I actually got off of a different seller on Etsy. You can find so many cool customizable pieces off of Etsy and like Amazon and stuff. So I really, really like this, but this page actually came with the planner inserts. I've got my little tabs here on the side and then I have this little like bookmark here to mark the date. I've been writing everything out, crossing it out as I go. And then I ended up adding in a little dotted page that I got off Amazon, a pack of these, just with like weekly reminders, video ideas, real short brands to focus on this next month, work reminders. And then I also found these reoccurring task inserts off of Etsy as well from the same seller that did the front cover page. And these are like reoccurring tasks for each quarter and then also weekly. So I have like pay my sales tax stuff, give the dogs their monthly medicine. We have tithing on there, things like that, that I wanna to remember to do every single month during the year. So you just check it off as you go, which I think is really cute. And then I put a little page in here for like a little gratitude list, just every day to write down something that I'm thankful for. So this is just a little bullet point page there again that I got off Amazon. And then this is a project planner sheet that talks through like what the project is, the start date, the deadline, to-do items, little notes, ideas, things like that. And so I have a couple larger projects that I've been using these inserts for. And so that section here that I kind of customized, I can move through each week as I go, which will be super, super nice. I don't have to like keep it in the back of my planner and never see it again. That's why I went with the six ring binder version because I wanted to be able to move stuff around throughout the year as I was using it more or take it out if I'm not using it. So that's my update on this planner. It's a little bit pricey. I definitely splurged on this thing, but I have been really, really liking it. And again, I'm definitely gonna try to get you guys a like discount code if I can. I will have it linked down below. If not, check in on my Instagram and I will let you know as soon as I get my hands on a code. I'm working so hard to get that for you guys, but 
I have really loved this planner. It's one of those things that's like not super necessary to do to the extent in which I like filled this out and built it out. But there is something that's really nice about customizing a planner to your actual needs that I had never had before and I've been really, really liking it. So update on this little cloth and paper planner. I love her. Last little update or just thing I wanted to share before I leave for the event tonight. I honestly didn't think I was gonna have time because I was like, oh, I need to leave 30 minutes before so that I can drive there and get there on time. And then I mapped it from our new house and we're literally seven minutes from the place that the dinner's at. So I'm like, wait, I have more time. I can show you guys everything I wanted to before I leave. Tomorrow is like kind of a packed day, so I don't know that I'm gonna be vlogging a lot tomorrow. However, I am gonna be vlogging during our baby shower some, and maybe like kind of the get ready with me, figuring out what I'm gonna wear for that. I'm trying on all my dresses tomorrow that I've gotten in to just see like what I feel comfortable in day of with my itchy skin. I had developed like an eczema rash on the crease of my arms, and I was like, oh man, I gonna have to wear like a long sleeve dress because I had a short sleeve dress kind of picked out. But now that the rash has like totally gone away, I have options again. So I'm gonna try on all my dresses. Mm, I guess I, I need to try them on tomorrow, don't I? Because the shower is two days from now. Regardless, I'm gonna be vlogging at the shower because I wanna show you guys all of the hard work that my friends have been doing for that. I'm so grateful, like seriously cannot believe that we are having our own baby shower. I feel like I was literally just hosting Mary Helen's baby shower and now she's hosting my baby shower and it's just, it's so crazy how quick it all happened. But I wanted to show you guys this because I ended up getting an Instax mini link to photo printer or your phone. It like hooks up to Bluetooth and then you can print Polaroids from pictures that are on your phone for Mary Helen because she's one of the hosts for my shower. I got each host a different gift actually. And I ended up getting Mary Helen this because I thought this would be so great to have for pictures of her baby because she's a new mom and I just I just feel like you want to have physical photos of sweet memories and that way if she ends up doing any type of scrapbook or like journal for her baby then she can have photos to kind of just like print out on demand. I never ever go like get photos printed and so I really like having Polaroid so I have the actual Polaroid camera and then I ordered myself one too because I was like honestly there are going to be so many photos on my phone that I take of our daughter that I'm gonna want for her scrapbook. And it's just so much easier, it feels like, to just print them out on the Polaroid film. So I got that and then I got Mary Helen the extra cartridges for that. But I figured we could just open up mine. This is what it looks like. And like I said, it's Bluetooth. So instead of like having to carry around your Polaroid on you all the time, which I am gonna take my Polaroid camera to the shower and have some photos there. But there are like photos that you take on your phone where you don't have your Polaroid camera with you that you wanna print out. And so I thought that this would be one, a really good gift to give, but then also something that I would really, really appreciate having during the newborn season. And then also just like as I work on her little book. I'm not doing a full on scrapbook because I kind of feel overwhelmed by doing a real scrapbook but I have a binded book that is a little bit more like big milestones that I thought would be really nice to have this for. So I just thought it never hurts to have physical photos and this was just such a fun, convenient way to do it. It's just a small little printer like this and I probably need to charge it and I need to set up my phone to it. So let me just go ahead and try to connect this thing to Bluetooth here. Okay, so this does not come with film. So one, I'm really glad I bought this for Mary Helen and then I need to go get the film that I do have for my Polaroid downstairs because it takes the same film as the Polaroid camera. So that's also why I got this one was because this is just a lot easier to find. I read a lot of reviews on some of these other Bluetooth printers like pocket printers and sometimes people were saying that the film itself was hard to come by which I'm like this is always around like you can get at Staples and Target and all the places. So I'm gonna go run into the house and grab the film that I have for my other camera for this. Okay, so I got the film for it, but it does not come charged at all. So I don't have time before I need to leave to like let that charge. So I'll do it when I get back and show you guys either tonight, maybe tomorrow. We'll see. I need to head out 
for this event. I'm excited. I'm also like kind of tired. I've had a really, really long day of filming and calls and just a lot of work, but I'm excited for this event. I really love Magnolia, so I'm excited. I think they're gonna have some of their like home stuff there. I'm hoping it's a sit down dinner. I feel like sometimes these events that say like, join us for a meal are a little bit hard to understand. I'm like, is this a sit down dinner? Should I come really hungry? Should I come having eaten a snack beforehand? We're gonna find out together. You can never be too sure though. how many people it took to bring an event like this to life from our creative team, e-com, styling, design, brand, voice. There's been so many hands that have been a part of tonight. So hopefully you guys have gotten to speak to a few people from both brands. dresses for the baby shower and I thought I would show you a few. This is my number one pick. Got this from Abercrombie and my friend Mary Helen actually wore this at her baby shower but in like a dark blue floral print. It was so gorgeous but I loved the style of it. I found it in this really pretty strawberry print which is just so precious for like a little girl baby shower. Oh. So this one I'm probably gonna end up wearing, but I wanna show you guys the other ones. It is a cotton dress, super comfy, just like shows off the bump really nice. And I just love the movement in the skirt as well. I'm wearing it in a size small short, so I did size up in it. I'm typically like an extra small petite at Abercrombie in their dresses, but I decided to get the small. And I feel like this fits really, really well. Like it's not too tight anywhere, so. Very, very comfy. Number two, I love this dress. So this dress is from Petal and Pup and I have a discount code for Petal and Pup right now for 20% off. I'll have the code down below in the description box, but they have so many good dresses. I've gotten wedding guest dresses from there, bridal shower dresses. Now I'm looking at baby shower dresses on there and they have so, so many good dresses, like one of my go-to places. I love this one. It just fits so nicely and I feel like the cream is just so elegant. It's a rib knit, so it hugs the bump, which is so cute. And it also has these like really exaggerated shoulders, which I I love. Like, I feel like this is what makes the dress feel a little bit more dressy than just like a typical knit dress. But I feel like this with the Dolce Vita sparkly heels, so elegant. I love this one. Okay, so this one is also from Petal and Pop. And I wasn't quite sure if I was gonna like the high neckline on it, but I feel like this is the perfect late winter, early spring baby shower dress, especially if you're somewhere where it's a little bit cooler. Has the long sleeves, full smocking in the front here, and this really beautiful tiered skirt. I love the pattern on it though. So it's really, really pretty dark blue with pink florals. So it could be worn for like a boy or girl shower. I love this one so much. Wait, is this the one that I'm gonna wear? I feel like I'm, I might be the most excited about this one. This is from Abercrombie and it has a slip underneath it with this sheer knit over it. It is so gorgeous and it's like a knit dress, but it's more chic and it just feels like so elevated and just so unique. I don't know why, but I love this one so much. I did not know that I was gonna like this as much as I do. Good morning. It is the next day and yesterday after I finished filming my baby shower dress video, we ended up just eating dinner and having a chill night in, which I was very, very grateful for. We've had something like, I think every single night this week. So we've had a very busy week, but I painted my nails 
for the shower. Wanted them to be fresh. I had that like kind of like black nail polish on for I think like two and a half weeks and it was looking very rough, but did my nails and I ended up self tanning earlier yesterday. So I did that. Got up this morning at 6 a.m., which I wasn't planning to get up until 7, but I keep randomly waking up super early and I was like, it's 6 a.m. I might as well just get up and like journal and read my Bible and stuff. So I did that this morning and I already have most of my makeup on. The only thing I need to do is mascara and lip, but I'm gonna do my hair right now. I had curled it with my T3 curling iron, but I'm gonna do a Dyson ear wrap pass through it because I want it to be a little bit more like exaggerated voluminous. It's kind of rainy today. So I'm gonna try to get my hair like as bouncy as I can knowing that because of the rain, it's gonna fall a little bit. But then I'm gonna try on my dresses and I wanted to film a get dressed with me for my baby shower reel. So that's kind of why I'm moving pretty early this morning. The shower is in Leaper's Fork, which is maybe like 40 minutes, 35 minutes out of Nashville. And so it's a little bit further away. So we wanna get there a little bit early too so that we can see everything set up and take some photos and stuff and just be there before everyone else gets there. So we're probably gonna leave around, I would say like 9.30 try to get there. Somebody order a coffee? Yes. <laughs> I feel like becoming an adult is your baby shower feeling more excited than Christmas. Morning. I know, I woke excited. up so excited. I literally like saying, an excited pit mess. Mm -hmm. I literally been thinking about all the people that are going to be there and I, just, I can't wait to see. It's like all our favorite people in one room. I'm so excited. So it was partially like couldn't sleep because I've been waking up early the other mornings, but also very, very excited. So anyway, I'm going to do my hair and then figure out what I'm gonna wear. I'm still between the two dresses. If I'm being honest, I'm probably leaning towards the knit one just because I feel like, I don't know, it's January. And even though I self tan, I'm like, it'd be kind of nice to have like my arms and legs covered. So anyway, we'll try it on together again though. So I went ahead and I brushed through my curls just very gently with my hairbrush. And like I said, it's gonna, it's gonna fall a little bit as the day goes, but I feel like they look so good and full. And I also put on my mascara and my lip product. And I feel like what I'm wearing on my lips is like one of the most common questions that I get on vlogs or sit down videos and I never remember what I'm wearing on my lips because I typically film at least three days in advance that I have time to like edit and get it all up. So I thought I would tell you while I have it in front of me, I'm wearing the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick with the Merit Beauty lip oil in taupe over it. And I'm trying to find like better lighting here. See here? Really, really pretty kind of nude. It's very gloomy out today. So our lighting is not prime, but I am going to film my little get dressed with me reel and decide on which dress I'm gonna wear finally. Okay, this is my final decision. Decided to go this one because I wanted my arms and my legs to be mostly covered. Even though I like self tan, I was like, oh, I still feel like my skin is kind of dry and patchy right now because the winter. So this is the final look though. I am obsessed with this. I threw in some really fun flower earrings and my large pave hoops. And then for my rings, I've got on the puffy Charlotte pave ring and pearl ring and David Yerman wedding band. But we are actually on time. This is the first time in my life I haven't been late.
these two very special people. We love you all so much. And we are just beyond thrilled for you in your next stage of life. We are just so excited. I want you to look around and just know how much you're loved. All these people are here for you. This is so wonderful. <laughs> Legit best day ever. We got home a little while ago and brought in all of the stuff that we got from their shower. And also while we were gone, our Duna car seat stroller arrived and some nursery decor items arrived. So we've got a lot to unbox and put away and organize because some of this stuff is stuff that she's gonna use when she's first born. And then some of it is stuff that she's probably gonna use a little bit later as she gets older. So we need to sort through everything, but seriously, the best day ever. I could not tell you my favorite moment from the day because I feel like the whole time I was just smiling. Like I could not believe that that room was filled with all the people that we love who were all there to like celebrate our baby and just to surround us with encouragement and love. And it just, it was like one of those pinch me moments. It feels so surreal to like know that she's gonna have such a good community of people around her when she comes into the world. And I'm just like so honestly overwhelmed by the love that we felt today. And just, it's so cool just seeing your community show up in that way. And we're so grateful she has so many little things that I just I get so excited about these are like the most precious little items I wanted to show you guys a few of them we did some vlogging at the shower not a ton because obviously I wanted to be able to talk to everybody but there are a few highlights so my friend Leah made this she literally crocheted this bunny like what Look how cute this is. She said she just got a pattern offline and crocheted it and ordered the little eyes, put the eyes, like this is the cutest thing I have ever, ever seen. Like I truly cannot believe that she made this. It's precious. And the little like outfit that it's wearing was the color palette. And then we had the cutest little cookies. I took some home because I was like, I really want to show you guys these kind of like up close, but these really, really cute cookies. It says baby was. These were done by the host's friend. Her business is called Huey Cakes. And I'm gonna try to link everybody that I can down below who like helped out with the shower because the cookies were so, so sweet. And then the flowers, guys. Oh my gosh, I've talked about Meg before. She's been in like some of my vlogs because honestly, we're like each other's dates to events. I feel like around Nashville, I always text her. I'm like, are you going to this? Or are you doing the flowers for this event? And every time I see her, we just talk for hours and I love her. And I was planning on inviting her to the shower originally and she offered to do flowers for it. And so I just, like you guys saw the flowers when we got there. I got to take one home too. But like, how does she just like come up with this? I told her like a couple colors. I gave her maybe like two or three Pinterest photos. I was like, these would be cool, but like really anything. And like this is one of the simple arrangements. You guys saw in some of the clips that I took of the shower, like her arrangements are stunning. And she does like huge events. She does weddings, she does corporate events, she does hotels, she does like travel destination events and weddings. Like she is literally so talented and she runs her own business. And she is like one of the most talented creative people that I know. She does like huge art installs as well. So like seriously, most talented, most like resourceful person. I've ever met and I cannot believe just like how beautiful these are and just the fact that she was there today and worked on that just made it just was so sweet to have her have like a part of her creativity and her art like at our shower I just I, I'm obsessed with her work just in general I'm a fan of hers and she's just so sweet so that was amazing and then another really cute detail were these cups that Cameron her Instagram is cam underscore othergram. I believe I'll link her down below as well. But she does like a lot of freelance wedding invites and graphic design and stuff like that. And so she made the designs for these cups, which are so cute. I got to take some home because I just thought they would be 
so precious to have as like a little souvenir, but that was just such a sweet little detail. Honestly, all of the details were so well thought out and just so us and just made me feel so loved and celebrated. And we got like so many cute things like this cart, my friend Mary Helen put together. It's a little postpartum cart and she had one of these when she gave birth and she put like baby essentials and like nursing essentials and like postpartum essentials in it and then had it in her living room when they first brought their baby home. And she said it was so great because she could just wheel it around or take it into their bedroom. You didn't have to be in the nursery to have all of like the stuff with you. And so she put this together. I kind of had to disassemble it so that we could transport it here. But there's so many incredible little things that we got. Like we got so many diapers and barefoot dream socks and the cutest little outfits, like so many precious outfits. We got so many books as well. All the things, baby shampoo, little spongies, Mr. P, the cutest little clothes. Like, look at this, so cute. She's gonna be set. She's not gonna need a single thing, Mr. P. She's not gonna need anything after this. We got baby wipes and diapers. We got this cute little bunny hooded towel. Everything is just so precious and so girly. I'm obsessed. Like, look at these little Zara outfits. So cute. And these little gloves. Just like, I can't wait to organize all this stuff. These cute little bibs. We found these on Amazon and registered for them, but like, they're the cutest little patterns. Oh, I didn't even see this. Jason must have opened this while I was doing something else or while I was opening a different gift. A little puzzle. That's so cute. Here's a pee. Can you smell all the baby stuff? Gonna have so many good little books and outfits. Oh my gosh, she's gonna be way better dressed than me. Everything's pink, obviously. Miss Pete, get out of there. Tiniest little booties, like, oh my gosh. And then love at first bite. It's tiny baby spoon and a baby sippy cup and a baby bowl. So cute. I just can't. I'm so out of breath. Even showing you guys this. We got our baby monitor. My mom got us the baby monitor. So I'm so excited. This is one of the things that we really, really needed. And we got a swaddle, portable changing pad, which is so nice. Like look how compact that thing is for travel. Mr. P, this is not yours. A cooler bag for bottles and breast milk. And a little swaddle. Hey, hey, you are being so nosy. You're being the most nosy. And this is a little wooden train set, which is just so cute. We gotta put all this in her room, don't we, Mr. P? Don't we? Don't we? Yes, we do. Woo. You're the baby right now though, aren't you? You're the baby. <laughs> what are you gonna do when, when she gets here? Cause you're such a baby right now. What are you gonna do? And then this is our Duna stroller that arrived. I think this is a wicker giraffe toy basket from Pottery Barn. I really wanna open it and find out. But we got the Pottery Barn bookshelf. I think a mirror came, we got the crib sheet, curtain rod for her room, some nursery stuff. I'm gonna open this one up. so cute oh my gosh she doesn't have like an animal theme someone asked me the other day they're like what's your animal theme and i was like i don't know i haven't picked like a single animal it's just kind of like whatever animals come into her life you know what i mean this is so cute i literally this is so precious Okay, last thing. I took my Polaroid to the shower 
and got a couple photos with some people for her book. This is her book that I'm working on right now. It says, hello baby, I got off Amazon. This was like the least intimidating book that I found on Amazon that didn't require too much writing or too much dedication. I kind of figured if I got one of those, like record something every day or do like a huge amount of photos or anything like that, that it would discourage me from doing it. And then it would be kind of pointless. So I got one that felt very approachable and says your arrival, has our ultrasound, has what I found out, first ultrasound. And then this little page here is for, it says celebrating you. So I took photos from our gender reveal party with people who were there, put them in the book. And then I took a few more at the shower today to add to this page. But there were a couple of shots that I took with other people that I didn't get on my actual Polaroid that I wanted to print out using this. So I just hooked up to my phone and I wanted to test it out. But inside the book here, it's got a welcome to the world photo spot for newborn, name, date, time, born at what hospital, height, all the things, the story of the birth. And then you just put little photos of y'all together, fingers and toe prints here, footprints, pictures of the nursery, bring your home, first bath. And then the rest of the book is just the first 12 months. So every month you write a little like things you're doing right now up until the first birthday. So every single month you just put like one photo or you can put more, but it really only asks for like one photo. And then the other ones are like years two through five. And then these, you literally only put like highlights from like being two years old. Also, what's great about this is you can just rip out whatever page you don't want because it's a spiral bound. You're not held to anything. So there was one thing in here that I was like, eh, I'm not gonna use that and I just tore it out. So I like this book, but I'm going to load this film and then see how she prints. I just feel like these are so easy for things like baby books than having to go get something printed every time I like wanna work on it because I never, ever, ever get photos printed. But maybe I'll start. So you open up at the back like this and just load it like you would the Polaroid because it takes the same film. Close it up and it should spit out the back to it. And now I'm gonna turn it on and open up the app here and it already connected. That was like so easy to connect. So then I can go into my photos. I think, Pierre, stop rummaging. <laughs> Simple print. Okay, so you go into yeah. recents. Okay, let's do this photo. So here's a photo of Mary Helen Cole, Jason and me. It's kind of hard to tell on the screen, but we're going to zoom in a little bit. And do I need a filter? I don't think I need a filter, do I? No filters. Correction, maybe a little more saturation. All right, let's just give it a try and hope that it looks good. So now we wait and we hope that it works. Okay, it's coming through. So let's see how it looks. Okay, it's starting to develop more and it actually looks so good. It has like a lot better detail and lighting than my actual like Polaroid. So this is the one I got on the actual Polaroid and this is the one that's coming through right now. And you can like zoom in on the photo and add saturation so that's cool it's still developing so we'll see like where it ends up finally but very very cool i actually love this it's just so nice to like have stuff from your phone that you can print out if you don't actually grab it on the camera Now I just need to get my double-sided tape and add these to her book. So cute. But we actually have a birthday tonight, so we're about to head out. But when I get home, I want to 
put these in her book and go through all of our cards. We didn't get to read them all because we had so many people there. We didn't want to like have everyone sit through us reading them. So I wanted to read some of those tonight, but I'm gonna go ahead in this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing our baby shower and all of the things. We seriously had the best time. It was such a blessing for us to be able to do that. And I feel like a teen boy right Let's now. Hoods up for Malia. Let's do it. Anyway, um, we are so, so grateful. I'm definitely going to remember this day forever. Like, I can't wait to wake up tomorrow and, like, journal about it all because I love to, like, recount everything in my journals. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and you want to stick around for some more videos. I think my next vlog is going to be finishing up my office and unpacking a lot of this nursery stuff and trying to get that situated. So very excited for the next one. But I hope you guys enjoy. See ya. See ya.